Do you have a leaky joystick pilot valve? We should be able to fix this without buying a new one, right? Welcome to Rat's Tool Chest. Today we'll be looking at some more of the leaks on the Cat 248 skid steer. We'll be removing the pilot valve, a fancy name for the joystick. Uh, it's leaking above the plungers and we're going to look at how to fix that. First thing we need to do is open up the cab. Um, as you can see I don't have the bolts in here yet and um, I've got replacement bolts, the old bolts. <laughs> When it came from the auction, the bolts weren't even there. So it makes lifting the cab easier. Make sure you replace the cab bolts before operation. Uh, the structural integrity of the rollover protection is compromised if they're not securely in place. Once again, you want to make sure that your safety lock is in place. I still have a little bit of painter's tape on mine. But this ensures that if the uh, gas spring were to fail, that the cab won't fall on you. Here's our issue up close. As you can see, the oil's all leaking from the, uh, from the plungers here. And I believe you can see the meniscus right there. Uh, between the plunger and its little brass housing that the oil is actually leaking up around the plunger itself. So we will be di completely disassembling this and replacing all of the seals in this pilot valve. First thing we need to do is mark all our hoses. I've already done this. Uh, when I removed this entire housing and all of that, to, uh, to paint underneath it. I had marked them previously. Uh, you definitely want to do this. If you don't, putting all these back into the appropriate place can be difficult. And then you have to play switcheroo by starting putting them in place, starting it up, seeing which hose does what, and then, then marking it and then putting it in the appropriate place. It's just easier to mark them from the get-go. So the only one that I don't have marked is the back one. It's the only unmarked hose. It's a good idea to go ahead and just take a picture of it for yourself, what you've marked. That way you know where everything is supposed to go. Here's what we should need to do this. You need a set of hex keys and some 11 16 wrenches. also have a bunch of o-ring face seal plugs for the hoses and a couple of caps. Hopefully I don't need more than three, even though there's six lines in there because that's all I have. They sell a kit on Amazon that has everything. I kind of pieced all of this together as I needed it. Um, you're probably much better off buying the kit and I think it's 70 or 80 bucks and it gives you a wide assortment of all of your caps and plugs for o-ring face seals. I'll see if I can find one on Amazon and put a link in my description for you. First thing I'm going to do is put down some oil absorbent mat. I'll put some in here because these things are going to drip as soon as we let them loose. One down here. Grab your plugs and your caps. Don't drop them. Set them somewhere handy nearby. And then let's remove all of our hoses. There are six hoses that go into this pilot valve. You have your supply, your P-line, your uh, return, your tank line, 
and then you have four uh, pilot lines. Each of these goes to the section valve and pilots the spool either forward or backwards, thus uh, activating the cylinder that it's attached to, whether that be the boom lift or the tilt in its respective direction. There's also a plastic cover that goes on the front of this joystick pilot valve housing. It's secured by four uh, M6 uh, button head screws that thread into uh, M6 rivet nuts. And a couple of the rivet nuts had twisted into the plastic and so the, uh, the screw would not come loose from the rivet nut. So I'm going to have to replace those as well. Okay, now that all the hoses are off, yeah, I've still got a couple of drips there. So if you can get all six caps, that would probably be best. But like I said, it's probably best you get the lines capped because this is going to be coming out anyway and will fully drain the fluid. Now that we have those out, we have three uh, socket head cap screws, small socket head cap screws, metric uh, to remove, I believe they're M6s. Uh, which is a five millimeter hex key. While I'm getting the final screws out of this pilot valve, let me explain why we are going down this route with this. We went to our local cat dealer and tried to either get a seal kit or a rebuilt valve or something of that nature. And they told us they only sold uh, new valves, which were more than $900. I think we need to separate the, the steel support here from the plastic. It's done by two screws here. It has two screws that go all the way through it down here, but I think if I can get it just to pull apart here enough that I can pop that ear out of it. These are a 13 millimeter or half inch will work. $900 is a lot to pay to fix a couple of pilot valve plunger leaks, especially when the valve was functioning fine otherwise. The days of OEM manufacturers uh, making their own components is long gone. I knew that the section valve was a botched restroth along with the uh, closed circuit pumps and the auxiliary pump. So I figured uh, the pilot valve was likely to be a Bosch Rex Roth as well, and turns out it was. It's one of their four TH5 or 6 valves, in this particular case a TH6 or 6H. I found a Rex Roth valve online, but it was still nearly $500, which is a lot better than the 900 the dealer valve had, but... I was also able to get a hold of a Rex Roth distributor and found they had a $52 seal kit for this. However, this was in the middle of the pandemic and it had a huge lead time. I was able to find all of the seals independently, which are the seals I will be putting into this valve uh, in the next video. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the second video in this series when we will be disassembling the pilot valve.